All right. Today I'm going to do something unique and something a little bit different. Um, many people want to be able to run programs on Steam's Proton externally um, without even having Steam open. And uh, today I'm going to put Steam Proton within Play on Linux so that I can go ahead and install some of my games from Good Old Games or GOG.com. Now, one of the benefits of running Steam's Proton within Play on Linux is that you can actually use um, the Play on Linux configurator that I have showing here uh, to install components and uh, manage your wine preferences. You can also use uh, the Wine Tricks application uh, against your wine prefixes as well. Um, so I figured I would put that out there, that this makes it nice and convenient using the Play on Linux front end. Now, I also understand Lutris um, handles uh, wine prefixes as well, but I haven't really had a chance to experiment with that end of things because I'm very pleased with how Play on Linux manages all of my wine bottles for me. So I really don't want to switch to something else unless I really have to. All right, so basically I don't have a Steam open, but the thing is when you install a Windows game, it's going to install Steam Proton into your Steam library, Steam apps, common directory, and then you're going to have a Proton folder. See this dist folder here? What we're going to do is we're going to um, let's open up another file manager here, and I'm going to go directly into my Play on Linux folder, okay? And we want to go into dot .play on Linux, into Wine, and Linux AMD 64. I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call this a Proton 37 for 3.7 that exists right now. And then into that uh, Proton 37 folder, I'm going to copy the entire contents from a Proton 37 slash DST from uh, the, the folder that Steam installed. Copy that and paste it in here. Okay, very good. So now we have Proton in the Linux AMD 64. Now watch how easy this is, okay? We're going to go into Configure and Play on Linux, and then we're going to create a new virtual, virtual appliance, pressing Next. We're going to choose a 64-bit Windows installation, select Next, and look what we have here, Proton. 37 is already in here, ready to go, ready to use. I'm going to press next. We're going to choose a name for the virtual drive. We're going to call this EXT for external and Proton. All right. You can even add 37, you know, that way, you know, you have that version because maybe when 38 comes out, you might want to have different versions, whatever. I'm going to press next. And now it's generating a 64-bit installation that we can work with. Once that is done, we can select this now, and we can go into a miscellaneous and run an executable in the virtual drive. I'm going to go to my desktop fo folder, and then I have a GOG installer for Master of Orion. Let's go ahead and install this. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and launch that installer. All right, maybe go into some options here. Um, check everything that it is good. And yes, we need to accept the EULA and then press install.
Okay, the installation has completed, but we get a runtime error at the end. This has happened on every game that I have installed from GOG, and I'm not sure what causes this issue, but pressing OK on this a few times this time, it's saying the game was installed successfully, and it gives us the option to launch it. I'm not going to do that just yet. I want to exit this because uh, we can go and open the virtual drive directory and we can uh, go into where the game is installed okay and we'll see if there's any um, a, a redistributable redistributable directory I'm not seeing one in here okay I'm not seeing um, one but um, what we can do is we can just go into um, Wine, or General, I'm sorry, make a new shortcut from this virtual drive. And I believe the one I want is Master of Orion EXE. Okay, and then now we've got a shortcut. Let's uh, cancel this. All right, and now let's uh, try and launch this thing. All right, looks like it's playing just fine for me. So now, um, there you have it. Um, we have the ability to uh, play games uh, using Steam Proton using Play on Linux. Pretty cool stuff, I believe. All right, and then we can get our game on. All right, well, um, that's all I have in today's episode. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be covering next, but I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. So, until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.